Take a girl and a guy, and they fall madly in love and form a family. Sprinkle in some counseling degrees and a doctorate, a dream of transforming relationships as we know it. And 20 years later, we give you power couple Dr. Ray and Jean Ketkodian. And this is their podcast, Couples Synergy. Welcome back to another episode of Couples Synergy with Dr. Ray and Jean. I'm Dr. Ray. And I'm Jean. And this is our podcast about love, marriage, and relationships. Check us out online at couplesynergy.com and be sure to subscribe to our podcast or send us any suggestions on topics you'd like to hear more about. And now on to Couples Synergy, an in-depth look at love, marriage, and relationships, where we bring you our experiences with working with thousands of couples for over 15 years. You know, every day we get to hear intimate details about a couple's celebrations, disappointments, and everyday challenges. We've often wished these stories were shared because we know that we are more similar than different. And so we've created not only an avenue where you can hear about people's intimate lives, but an atmosphere where people come over to our home pub, pour a drink, and share their stories. Hi, I'm Dr. Ray. And I'm Jean. And this is our podcast about love, marriage, and relationships. Called Couples Synergy. We are doing this right now remote in uh, Big, Big Bend National Park in Texas. We are about 0.2 miles away from Mexico. We are right on the Rio Grande River. Um, and it is literally remote. There is no yeah. one for miles here. We'll, this... we'll do a little walk around when we're finished here. It's beautiful. So, you know, this morning we were kind of talking about anger and I was thinking that, you know, if you, if you always saw your partner as a little child having a temper tantrum, you know, like a three or four year old, and, and realize that when people are angry, it really means they're in pain. Only human be beings that are in pain hurt each other. And so, you know, just like you would with a child, if you try to rationalize with a child who's angry, you're not going to get anywhere. You can't have a conversation. But you can take a cool off period. You can soothe them. And then you can talk about it later. It is absolutely true because what we know about anger as an emotion is that it is a secondary emotion, which means that more vulnerable emotions occur first. Emotions like sadness or fear or worry, you know, those emotions, they cause us to have anger come in and protect us from feeling those very uncomfortable emotions. And so it's really important to understand what might be occurring when you do feel anger. What is the actual primary emotion underneath that? And then be able to actually communicate that to your partner. Sometimes it happens so so fast that you're already in anger. But, you know, that's okay. That's going to happen. But it's important to be able to know what you are feeling after the fact to be able to communicate that. You know, as a rule of thumb, the way that women experience anger, the way that women experience hurt, is they tend to, when they get hurt, they tend to bring it in and do things that are kind of self-sabotaging. Um, in extreme forms, they become, they become have an eating disorder or do self-injurious behaviors. And as a general rule of thumb, when men get hurt, they lash out and take it on others. And you know, in our society, um, women are taught not to express anger. What are men taught? Men are taught to express anger. And in fact, there are very few emotions that men experience because they're taught to funnel all of their emotions through anger or frustration or vengeance. You know, if you look at all of the movies in Hollywood, all of the male characters, you know, exhibit those emotions. And the male characters that exhibit emotions like sadness or, um, or worry or any of the primary emotions that are more vulnerable, they're actually comedic characters in the movies and they're made fun of you know a lot of times when a couple comes in the, the first thing I'm gonna do with the woman is ask her to write me a list of resentments you know and almost all the time I get back regrets you know it's women are very good at judging themselves and shaming themselves and trying to wish they were different or better when really what they're experiencing is is a form of hurt or sadness that comes out in resentment resentment is anything that has been done to you that hurts. Regret is something you've done that you wish you would not have done. 
And so what I found is a lot of women come in and they're perfectionists and they're on the outside visibly have a smile on their face and then underneath there's there's a deep rage that they've been holding on to for a very long time. How about when men come in? When men come in, they show anger on the outside, kind of like a... Um, Werther's. Werther's original. Yeah, I don't know if any of you remember that, but Werther's original candies, they have that hard outside, but on the inside, they're really soft, right? And so um, that's kind of like how men really kind of express themselves is that if they are really showing a lot of anger, you know, a lot of outward aggression towards other people, you can pretty much bet that on the inside, you know, they have a lot of insecurities, they have a lot of vulnerabilities that they're not able to actually connect with or process or even express to, you know, anyone around them, you know, and so one of their coping mechanisms is to either lash out and push away everyone around them, right, and, and so that they can be alone. I guess if we're going to use a candy bar analogy, maybe um, uh, like chocolate with almonds in it is a good way to describe it. <laughs> you know, there's sweet and soft on the outside, and then you get to the center and there's this hard nut. <laughs> I think you're just craving some chocolate right now. Not yet. Maybe later. <laughs> but but I think it's, it's an interesting thing because we have these really very different ways of coming about things. And a lot of that is because our brains work differently, but it's it's a really big pattern in relationships of how men and women deal with the way they've been hurt, the way they've been hurt throughout their lives and the way that they've been hurt by their partner. And without a good way to bridge the, that gap of, the, of those different ways that men and women are, a lot of relationships fall apart, unfortunately. That, that's absolutely true. And you know, one of the things that a lot of couples ask us is, you know, do you guys fight? And we, we absolutely fight. We are a normal couple that go through everyday normal struggles that other couples go through as well. And, you know, we believe and found out, you know, throughout our marriage of 21 years now, and that is that, you know, fighting teaches us a lot about the other person. And you can't have a happy relationship if you don't have fights from now and then. You know, it is important to be able to express your feelings, express your emotions, and sometimes it gets to a point that it's, you know, comes out in anger, okay? But it is, it is important for couples to be able to learn how to have conflict with each other and to be able to process that appropriately. Yeah, and I think, you know, as a general rule of thumb, try and forgive your partner when they're angry. They may say things that they actually really don't mean. I know people say, you know, what comes out in the anger, in anger is truth, but sometimes it's really just pain, like a knee-jerk reaction, and then you hit someone when you just meant to, like, give yourself some space. And um, I have not found that some of the things that Ray said to me in anger, <laughs> <laughs> or some of the things I've said to him in anger were actually our truth. It was more our pain, and actually it might even be pain that he never caused, that pain that's been in there a really long time. For, for whatever reason, and um, it is in the figuring out, and you know that's what we teach in Couple Synergy is how to go about a healing process when you go through an anger um, event or situation, because that is our greatest potential for change and connecting and bonding. I'm Dr. Ray, and I'm Jean, and we are with Couple Synergy. If you have any more questions about what we do, you can check us out online at couplesynergy.com. And if you want to hang on a minute, we'll give you a little tour of what we see right now. All right, you got to go. Move the camera. <laughs> We're sleeping out here tonight. It's going to be very chilly. We have a little itty bitty tent though, so we should be good. Big Bend, Texas. We're on the southernmost western side. That rock wall you see over there is Mexico. You have been listening to Couple Synergy with Dr. Ray and Jean Ketkodian. 
Couple Synergy was recorded, edited, and produced by Dr. Ray and Jean Ketkodian. Voiceover and music entitled Breathe and Let Go was recorded and composed by Gina Gonzalez. Mm-hmm.